Twas the night before Christmas, from rooftop to basement. Not a creature was stirring, not even a patient. The call lights were quiet, yet nurses ready to care, but hoping no codes would blast through the air. The patients were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of jello danced in their heads. And chaplains were home in their nightcaps, just settled down for a long winter's nap. When all of their pagers went off with a clatter, they each one called in to see what was the matter. Away to the hospital they flew like a flash, tore out their badges and parked with a crash. The lights from the ambulances had quite a glow, adding to the urgency to walk fast, not slow. When what to their wandering eyes should appear, but a waiting room full of people and no one with cheer. They saw a nurse running so lively and quick, they knew in a moment someone was sick. More rapid than eagles, the chaplains they came. Barry whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Phil drew David and Carol, Sonia and Ted. On Kim, Kevin, Father George, Clay, Ira and David. To the top of Seven Main, to the One South ICU. Go find him, the patient that's needing you. As fast as the elevators go floor to floor, the chaplains they scurried like mice coming in the door. They checked in with nurses, secretaries, and PCAs. They talked to security and ran down stairways. And then in a twinkling, they heard overhead a code exit to look for a man clad in red. As they entered the lobby and turned toward the sound, it looked like St. Nicholas was hanging around. He was dressed in a hospital gown open in the back. They politely stood in front to avoid seeing his crack. He said he appreciated the care he received, but now you must listen for it's Christmas Eve. His eyes, how they twinkled, pupils dilated a bit. His IV fluids glistened and continued to drip. The chaplains held a meeting in conference room A and tried to think of a my learning to show them the way. They decided to ask some open-ended questions. They asked him to tell them more to see if he suffered depression. A wink of his eye and expression of emotions told the chaplains he had a Christmas devotion. Enough of the chatter, he said with a bellow. Now get some pants from the clothes closet for this fellow. They gave one another a nod and found him a robe, prayed for his safety and trip round the globe. They talked to house soup to get Santa discharged and cleared the code exit regarding a man at large. He sprung to his sleigh to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a whistle. Thistle. But they heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, St. Vincent's has the best chaplain, and the good Lord knows I'm right. Merry Christmas from the chaplains at St. Vincent's.